Hi, this is Eric with Parts Sanctuary. Today we're going to show you how to test your temperature sensor thermistor on your GE refrigerator. If you need a new temperature sensor thermistor for your GE refrigerator, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. This model refrigerator has six different thermistors. One is located in the ice box, one is located under the middle cover assembly, one is located on the ceiling of the refrigerator compartment, one is located on the fresh food evaporator coil, one is located on the side of the freezer compartment, and one is located on the freezer evaporator coil. To test the thermistor, you will first need to remove it from the refrigerator. This will make it easier to control the temperature of the thermistor. In today's video, we'll be testing the freezer evaporator coil thermistor as it is the one that most commonly fails. Note that the steps to test the other thermistors are the same as this one once you have the thermistors removed from the refrigerator. Please reference our other video on how to remove the thermistor if needed. First, you want to do a visual inspection of the thermistor to make sure that there are no cracks or breaks in the thermistor or wires. The only way to accurately test the thermistor is to measure ohms at various temperatures. You will need a multimeter that is able to test for at least 20,000 ohms. The thermistor that we are testing should fall within these ohm values at these temperatures. Please note that the different part numbers may have different resistance values. Please reference the service information on your model number for the correct specifications. If you have an auto-ranging multimeter, turn it to the ohms setting. If you have a manual multimeter, you will want to turn it to the 20,000 ohms setting. You cannot use the continuity setting to test your thermistor. Most multimeters will only register continuity at 50 ohms or less. If you were to test it at this setting, you will get no continuity. We recommend testing thermistors at two different temperatures, one at room temperature and one in a glass of ice water. To test the thermistor at room temperature, touch the multimeter probes to the exposed wires at the end of the thermistor. The room temperature in the studio is around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. When testing the thermistor, you should get a reading of around 5,000 ohms. Next, you will want to place the thermistor in a glass of ice water and wait a couple minutes for it to cool down. The sensor should test around 16,000 ohms. If it is not testing around there, your thermistor is bad and should be replaced. When replacing the thermistor, you have a couple different options. You can either buy a thermistor and splice that into the unit, or if available, you can buy it as part of an assembly and replace that. We'll leave a link in the description below that shows how to replace the thermistor. When shopping for parts, make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag under your appliance to make sure you are getting the correct part. And that's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.